Standards and Competencies in the K-12 Curriculum The purpose of the K-12 is to elevate basic education to a globally competitive level and benefit our children. Did it benefit our students? And did we produce globally competitive graduates? Teaching in the TechVoc field consists of systematic skills training and hands-on methods. A teacher in a certain TechVoc area must be highly knowledgeable in the subject. In fact, a TechVoc practitioner by profession suits the job to teach in technical vocational education and training. Likewise, in the higher education environment, licensed doctors with masteral or doctorate degrees are the ones eligible to teach or to become professors in a medical school. In the K-12 setting, senior high school technical vocational livelihood education teachers are normally general education teachers. DepEd's TVL track trainers and teachers are not industry experts or practitioners. Teachers have no appropriate or irrelevant and adequate industry experience. They are a product of general academic and short skills training. Did DepEd speed up the implementation of K-12? Is it safe to say that the policies created by non-TechVoc officers inside the organization during at that time are relevant? Hindi pwedeng nag-attend lang ng training workshop si teacher ng ilang buwan. Sasabak na siya sa pagtuturo ng livelihood and professional programs base sa module. Ano ang matututunan ng mga bata? Shortcut ito ng mga teacher sa school at ng mga instructor or research person ng TESTA. Walang kalidad ang TechVoc education sa K-12 senior high school dahil walang knowledge or karampatang kaalaman para ituro ang lahat-lahat na sakop ng isang kurso sa TechVoc. Hindi pwedeng basic principle at general views lamang. May level of competencies ito. May hands-on, may capstone project para ma-evaluate ang mga TechVoc students para makagraduate. At higit sa lahat, ang mga evaluator or assessor from DepEd schools at TESDA ay dapat eksperto o mataas ang kaalaman. Paano nakapasa ang mga senior high school TechVoc strand students? Sino ang nag-evaluate? Di ba yung mga teacher din nila? Sa TESDA naman, ganun din. Hindi din expert ang mga tao sa loob ng sistema. Doon pa lang, sablay na. Sumatotal, ang K-12 senior high school TechVoc strand ay kulang sa skills training, palpak ang mga assessment, mga protocol, at iba pa. The proposed solution is to hire evaluators and assessors with relevant professions. Implementation of strict assessment procedures for TechVoc interns. The OGT evaluation statement by the company will serve as the student's assessment, the capability or skill to perform the job. Education needs an overhaul. Others say schools, TESDA, and even politicians benefited from this K-12 program. Have you heard about the CMAN applicants? They are required to enroll schooling again. Once more, this is about the global standard strictly implemented by the progressive countries, the very institutions that make a living out of our education system. Policymakers and the policy being implemented should be scrutinized. Government should strengthen the faculty development plan or hire qualified and competitive teachers. Revisit the curriculum aligned to the global needs. Provide excellent materials. Facilities needed for instruction as these are forerunners to quality education. Alongside the K-12, upgrade the curriculum appropriate for senior high and abolish or replace useless minor subjects. Instead of calculus, why not insert business math congruent to basic accounting? bookkeeping. Likewise, in senior high school, to implement a level of proficiency in business writing, 
to prepare our youth in case they can't pursue college. In a recent interview with Mr. Tony Galvez, president and owner of the Tony Galvez School of Cosmetology, a member and officer of the Technical Vocational Schools and Associations of the Philippines District, NCR, and National, and a member of the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Quezon City. He mentioned the issues and concerns raised upon the technical vocational education and training players, as well as the image and public acceptance of TechVoc in the country. Regulate the curriculum and the program. Technical and skills development has a high potential because employers are looking for skilled workers. We need to be world class. We need to be known globally. Let's fix our education. We should innovate our own education style on how to produce experts. Uplift the image of TechVoc. Watch our next TechVoc episode. Okay naman K-12. Bakit walang trabaho?